people, uh, we think, uh, want trustworthiness, and that's a, a great check for the newspaper industry because community newspapers still have enormous credibility in their community, and that's an important leverage point. Uh, the other thing that consumers want, another thing, is access uh, to unfettered access to the information they need. If you think about how cable got started, cable was a solution to a problem of white noise in rural communities around America where they couldn't get uh, any signal at all. And cable came in and said, five bucks a month will give you a signal. Uh, and so suddenly people had something useful on their TV set that cleared away the white noise, cleared away the clutter. In a way, the web, you could, you could make an analogy and say that the web in some ways, at least it, until search came along, the web was like white noise. It was very hard to find any, any channel, any information that's useful. And so search came along and helped solve that problem. But increasingly, the web keeps getting bigger, and it's almost starting to overwhelm general search. And so there's a huge opportunity to create services that clear the white noise. And just as cable found that they were able to charge for that, it seems to me logical that if you think of yourself as, as providing a service that clears the white noise, that that may be a service that people are willing to pay for. Another uh, key thing that consumers want is they want control over what we call their persona, the bits and pieces of information that are now spread all across the web with multiple logins and multiple passwords about who, you know, where you live, uh, how old you are, uh, what your information interests are, uh, what your uh, friends, and who your friends are. And so we need to, to think about how we give consumers control over their identity in terms of privacy, in terms of their thinking about what their content is, and in terms of uh, their, um, their personal uh, interests. And then finally, uh, consumers want value. And if you think about the continuum of the very first search engine that was out there was called InfoSeek. And uh, Rick Lerner, uh, my former colleague at ClickShare, will remember that um, the technology for InfoSeek was actually invented at the University of Massachusetts, my, my uh, uh, alma mater. And, uh, but that, that gave way to better search at Yahoo, which then in turn gave way to, uh, to pay, the pay, page ranking uh, methodology of Google. And so that value exchange keeps moving along a continuum as technology and ideas improve. Same thing uh, with uh, Flickr and YouTube as they get better and better. The same thing with MySpace being a pretty good idea in its time, but it eventually was supplanted by Facebook, uh, which figured out a much better way to create a social experience uh, than did MySpace. And in a way, you can see that transition from newspaper to iPad tablet. So I guess the, the message uh, that, that, that I think about uh, on this point is the idea that you've got to, today's value exchange isn't good enough for tomorrow because the, the opportunities in the marketplace are continually changing. 